I'm an old man. Let's get that out of the way. I'm 40, which basically means that I'm knocking on death's door. I've seen lots of things in my life. I saw the first Nintendo. I saw the second Nintendo. I saw the rise of the internet or the World Wide Web as we called it. Probably some other important stuff happened in that time. And now I'm old, which means that it's time to reflect and reminisce and recall and recount and remember the simpler days. Because I was there at the dawn of PC gaming way, way back, eons past, in the ancient days of the birth of the digital operating system. DOS. I'm talking about DOS. Let's do the DOS thing today. And and quick, before I crumble into dust. Hey there, TechTweeb here. You're there. That's where we are. And that's a good place to be for, uh, for watching the video. I've made uh, a few DOS videos in the past. I showed you how to play DOS games on your Miu Mini. I showed you how to run DOS on your Android device. And I even hooked up a joystick to play Descent on my RP3+. <laughs> that, was a, that was a fun one. Good times. But one thing that I've never done that I've wanted to do for ages is make a proper video of how to turn a PC into a DOS PC in a way that feels like an authentic DOS experience. And I wanted to do that, to show it to you and to show you how to do it and to show you a ton of games. But as I started working on this script, I realized that there is way too much here to squeeze into one single video. And I I don't want to do that. I don't want to rush through this project that I'm super excited about just to squeeze it into one video that nobody will end up watching because it's like an hour long. Ain't nobody got time for that. Am I right? Yeah, I am. So here's the plan. Consider this video the first in a multi-part video series. Today we're going to have a quick history lesson about the origins of DOS, and then I'm going to show you my super nerdy DOS emulation setup that I put together, and show you what it's like to game on it. And then in the next video, I'm going to give you a full tutorial of how to use DOS, and show you around my custom DOS build that I'll have for you to download. And then in the next video, which will probably be the final video, it's going to be all about the games. I'm going to show you how to find DOS games, how to get them running, and I'll show you all my favorite old DOS games that I loved when I was a little dweeb and a few that I've only recently discovered. So you'll get three videos instead of one. I spoil you, you know that? But first and first mostly, I want to cover the basics. What is DOS and why should you care? DOS stands for Disk Operating System, and it's one of the first operating systems ever made. The most common version of DOS was made by a little-known company called Microsoft. Uh, Maybe you've heard of them. They made MS-DOS, and that's kind of where they got their start, and that was the operating system of the home computer back in the day. The interesting thing about DOS is that it spans many generations of computing. While video game consoles had to go through stepwise generational improvements, computer games evolved linearly. They weren't bound to console generations. The evolution of games on the computer coexisted beside the evolution of games on consoles, and these two branches of the gaming tree of life influenced each other but are both very distinct in the types of games that worked well on their platforms. I would argue that certain game genres like role-playing games and strategy games and adventure games and simulation games were miles ahead on home computers compared to what was happening in the home console world. And consoles had the games that worked better there, like platformer games, sports games, arcade-style action games, any multiplayer game. However, PC games were always at the top of the pack in terms of pushing boundaries of what is possible graphically. Not only that, but PC game development wasn't a closed system the way it was on consoles. You didn't need special development kits or, or anything. Anyone could make DOS games on whatever computer that they had. And all this is why there was so much interesting stuff released during the period of time where DOS dominated the PC world. And the sad thing is that these games are kind of lost to time because they're often ignored in the retro game world. And rightly so, because they can be a bit wonky to get working. And since we're all addicted to retro handhelds, these PC games do not control well there. It's possible to play them with some tinkering, but unless you've been doing that because you have nostalgia for DOS games, you probably haven't been exposed to much of the true DOS experience. And that's what you're going to experience today. 
I am so freaking excited to show you my DOS emulation setup. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the latest addition to my cozy retro game quarter, <laughs> my dedicated DOS computer. It's a monitor, a PC, a keyboard and mouse, all with a cool classic retro vibe. And it's running a build of DOS box staging that I spent a lot of time tweaking and customizing to get just right. It's called Dweeb DOS. And you can run my DOS build on any computer, but for the true authentic DOS experience, I think having a dedicated setup is really the way to go. Sort of like having a retro handheld uh, to play Game Boy games, even though you can play them on a big fancy computer. It just sort of feels right. Right, you know, and the, the more retro feeling your DOS setup is, the better. For the monitor, I had this old 4x3 ratio LCD monitor that I had kicking around from back in the day. It's not fancy, it's got a chunk missing out of it, and it's a pretty crappy LCD screen. It's like 1024 by 768 resolution, and it didn't look authentically retro. It was black and boring. So I did a thing. I painted it. I took it apart, separated the pieces of plastic, and I spray painted them beige, and I even painted the power button red so that it matched the rest of my setup. You guys know how much I like everything to match after all. This turned out so good. It's kind of dumb and pointless, but so am I. So, you know, what do you expect? And next up, we have the PC. Uh, you can run this on any PC. Literally any cheap mini PC or desktop PC or whatever you have lying around will do the job for this sort of emulation because it's not demanding at all. However, because I need everything to match, my solution is to use this, the Ioneo AM01 Retro Mini PC. This thing is actually pretty powerful. It has a Ryzen 5800U in it. I reviewed it on my channel. Check out the review link below after you watch this video if you want to know more about it. This is overkill for a pure DOS PC, but I, I had to use it. This thing looks like an old Mac classic computer, but one thing I did was paint the little fake rainbow emblem red so that it matched the rest of my setup. And I put a DOS prompt sticker thing on it. It looks much more DOSy like this. I like to turn this computer on the side so it looks like a computer standing there. I'm not a huge fan of the cables coming out of the top, but you can always hide those behind a Goomba. And for the keyboard, I went with the 8-bit Doe Retro Mechanical Keyboard. I am nuts about this keyboard. This is a big, thick, chunky mechanical keyboard, tactile brown switches with physical dials for the settings, and it just has such a great old school NES look to it. I love this keyboard so much. You have no idea. It's nostalgic, but it's also a genuinely great keyboard. So I bought the matching mouse and it's, it's freaking terrible. <laughs> Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. It looks great. It matches the keyboard. It looks like a cool retro Nintendo mouse, but it's just a garbage mouse. It's a super low quality sensor. It's uncomfortable. It's awkward. Terrible touchpad for mouse wheel. No middle mouse button click. It does work. You can use it as a mouse. I'm using it because I love the look of it, but that's the only good reason to get this. Hopefully 8-bit do do an actually good retro mouse someday. And th that's it. That's my retro feeling DOS emulation setup, and I'm, I'm so happy with it. It captures the nostalgia, but with, with uh, all the modern conveniences that you want in a PC. And that's the main thing that I wanted to show you in this video, but before we go, I want to give you a quick tour of what's to come. Mainly my custom build of DOSBox staging, Dweeb DOS. That's the system that I have running on here in breathtaking orange amber monochrome. It starts up by default when you boot the PC, so you're taken right into DOS. But if you need to exit and go to Windows for file management or to download games, that's easily done. But I also set it to be able to boot right back into DOS at any point with a keyboard hotkey. You just press the key combo and you're in DOS in like three seconds, no matter what you're doing. So don't worry, Commander Keen is literally at your fingertips anytime, anywhere, as it should be. I have a CRT shader applied to the screen that I added myself. I have have some quality of life features added to the DOS build like a text editor and even DOS navigator, which is how we used to do file management back in the day before Windows came along and ruined our lives forever, and a few other things that I'll show you later.
You can add games super easily. There's just a directory in my DOS build where you can dump your games. And the way you navigate around is just DOS. This is what I wanted. This is what I've been waiting for. Just good old DOS command navigation. You can mount ISO images and I have a nice easy script to do that, which you can easily edit for any game with an ISO. Uh, this is just a little taste. I'm, I'm going to show you how to do all this stuff in the next video in the series. So sit tight and be patient, damn it. And the games load up and they work amazing. You can download tons of free DOS games from Abandonware websites or download copyrighted games from ROM websites if you're a filthy pirate. And you can buy DOS games from GOG or even Steam and those versions also run totally fine in my DOS box build. You won't have any compatibility issues, no driver issues, no sound card stuff. The keyboard works, the mouse works, everything works. And I have been having the freaking time of my life playing these old DOS games again. You know that feeling that you had when you got like your first retro handheld or started dabbling with emulation on your computer and you got to re-experience your favorite Nintendo or Atari or Sega games again as an adult and you felt that magic of retro nostalgia? Well, I've been having that same experience again, but because it's PC games now, it feels like it's for the first time. Going through the archives of DOS history and finding all these games that I loved when I was a kid it has been like hanging out with little tech weep. And finding a ton of new games that I didn't get to play has been like a lesson in gaming history. These games are just as important as Mario Brothers or Sonic or whatever, and being able to play them in a way that feels like the real deal is finally what has made it special for me all over again. I am so happy with my DOS setup. I'm loving my DOS box build, Weeb DOS, and I'm having just a blast playing these old DOS games. If you're an old man like me, or an old woman not like me, and you grew up playing DOS games on your parents' computer, then you're probably going to love trying this out and taking a trip down memory lane. And if you're not so old that you're knocking on death's door, you'll probably love trying games from this era and seeing the dawn of PC gaming with your own eyes. And if you're not interested in DOS or early PC gaming, well, that, that's, that's weird that you watched this entire video. You must really hate yourself. Or love me. That's a possibility, I guess. <laughs> well, let me know which it is in the comments below. But that's all you get for today. The next video will be coming up very soon. And if you're watching this in the future, it will be linked at the top of the description below. Subscribe so you don't miss the next video in the series or more videos like this. If you like this video, then check out some of my other DOS content, also linked below. And if you want to pick up any of this stuff, the keyboard or the mouse or the PC, there's links for that stuff down there as well. And that's it from me for today. I'm TechTweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.